Hey there, you guys ready to paint? This is Miss Jennifer and we're with the Charlestown Clark County Public Libraries and we are ready to paint with you and Groot. So hopefully you picked up your painting kit at one of your local libraries and you're ready. Did you watch the setup video? Because you need to watch that first. So make sure you watch the setup video so that you're ready to just start painting. So go back and do that. So with this painting, I'm going to paint. You can watch, you can paint along with me. Whenever you get, like you feel like you're falling behind, just pause and then paint and finish painting that area and then play and then you can do the next step. Okay, so we're going to do this all together. So hopefully you have fun and enjoy it. It's not a race to see who gets to the end first. It's just have fun, enjoy your time together, be creative. So let's have fun with this. All right. So you have your painting that looks like this. You have your paint brushes that look like these. You have your paint tray that looks like mine. And we are ready to start. So we always start with the thing that's furthest from us. So the thing that's furthest from us in this painting here would be the background. So we're gonna start with that first. We're gonna imagine that there's a circle around a group like this, and we're gonna paint in that area white. And when we paint, we're gonna do a starburst effect. So that means we're gonna pull out like sun rays, like this. Does that make sense? So we pull out like sun rays, like that. So we're gonna get our white. And you don't want a bunch of white on your, your brush. You just want, want it on the tip. If you have it on the tip, then you have better control. So I kind of wipe it off on my tray when I get it. Like that. And we're thinking, I just making a, like a little white outline of where my sun would go on both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be, you're going to cover it and it's going to be blended into. And we're going to just go around Groot. Just kind of stay on the outside of him. It's one of those things, if you get get it on, it would probably be okay. It probably wouldn't show. If, it get, if you get a lot on there, just wipe it off. Or you can take a little piece of paper towel, roll it up, wet it, squeeze the water out of it, and it wipes right off. Like a little magic racer. So we're going to outline him. Go around his arms, making sure that we can still see where they're at. And I'm turning my brush so I make it skinny line, like this. There we go. And then I'm just kind of brushing out in that starburst effect. Okay. I like to pull from the center out. Smooth it out. There we go. We're going to do the other side. So outline first. We don't want a gap. See, I, got, I went over top of him, so I'm going to take my little eraser and just go. Now it's gone. We don't want any gaps between Groot and the background because that would look weird if we had like white gaps all the way around him. So we want the paint to touch him. So it has to touch him all the way. No gaps. There we go. around his face a bit. There. Now, just kind of wipe that paint off your brush so we don't waste it. We'll use that later. Then, we're going to clean our brush. When you clean your brush, make sure you're, you're kind of having to push it down on the bottom of the, the cup. And squeeze the water out. If you leave that water in there, it's going to mess up your paint. It's going to make it too runny and it won't cover very well. Squeeze the water out and we're going to go to this dark blue up here in the corner. Put a little bit on your brush and then wipe it off. So see how I wipe it off? Start in the corner and remember that sunburst effect, we're pulling it in. So 
and you can go across the top. You can pull it onto where Groot's top of his head's gonna be because we want it to definitely go in behind him. So, and that brown will be dark enough to cover. So just make sure you don't have any gaps like where your canvas shows through, you know how it has that gritty look, that gridded look to it. You wanna get rid of that. If you can't get rid of it, then maybe your brush got dry on you. But it should be dry, we just washed it. We're gonna go down the sides. And as you come like this would be straight in and this is gonna come up at an angle. So just kind of work to it. And I like to pull in from the edge. Sometimes I'm flicking back on it and that's just to get rid of that texture, that canvas texture. Now I'm gonna start working up. Just Get more paint as you need to. Here. Go down this side. This is going to go straight in. This is going to come up at an angle. So just kind of work towards that. working your way around it and you might have to flip your penny upside down to get that bottom edge like this and I kind of outline where this is at I really don't want this blue is such a strong color I really don't want to paint over that with blue Get the edge of it gone there. While you're at it, you can start painting the edges too. Paint around the edges. That way when it's dry and you're all done, you can hang it up on the wall. You don't need to frame it. It's ready to go. And go down both sides and across the bottom. Down both sides, across the bottom and you are ready to go. All right, so we're gonna, you can pause me and catch up if you need to, otherwise we're gonna clean our brush. Get all that really dark blue out of there. And might, you might have to do it twice to get that blue out. Squeeze the water out of it. Yep, mine still has blue. Okay, you might even have to pause and change the water. Then we're going to go back to white on our tray. 
So kind of wipe it on, wipe it off of your brush like this. And we're going to pull from about the middle out onto that blue. See how it picks up? Yeah, that's just part of the blending, but you don't want to start in here with that blue on your brush. We'll kind of go around one side and then we'll clean our brush and then we'll add more white. wipe my brush off on my paper towel get that off of it and go back to white so I didn't really clean it I just wiped it off and then I'm going to work back into this a little bit more and it'll have a light blue tint all the way in like you want a little dark blue back in there like this up here was dried it makes super well so I'm just gonna lightly put some in there wipe my brush off and just lightly work it in like that wipe your brush off actually clean your brush with water squeeze the water out of it We're going to do white on this side, the same thing. You're still keeping that starburst effect. So just kind of brush into that blue. So you're going about halfway in. This blue down here is probably still going to be wet. So it's going to pick it up and move a little bit further than the other side did. I am going over the arms a little bit, but I can still see where they're at. Don't lose your arms. Okay, and I'm going to take a little of the blue and just tap it on the very tip. I didn't clean my brush. Just tap it on the tip like that and just kind of lightly pull it in. There we go. Work a little bit that blue out here. So my edges blend a little bit more, so I'm adding more blue to get rid of those edges. The wetter it is, this blue paint, the easier it is, in the, is to mix into. So like if you stopped and took a snack break between this blue and that white, it's probably dry. So that would probably not be the ideal time to take a snack break. I'm just working a little bit, a tiny bit of blue back into some of those edges. Your paint should not really be super thick at this point. Like if you've used all your paint, you know, you're probably using too much paint. So you probably need to work out what you have on there. Like I'm just using a little bit of paint. I'm going to wipe my brush off, get that blue out of there. Make sure I'm going to clean it. I'm going to do a little more blending right in here with my white. Right in the middle. Just kind of brush it into it. Notice I'm brushing from the center out. Like I pick my brush up each time I brush. So now I've picked up blue. 
on my brush so I can't go back in that white area because there's blue on my brush. So I'd have to clean or wipe it off to go back in there. But I feel like that area is done. So we are going to add, see, can you see these little bright teal streaks? We're going to clean our brush. And while it's wet, we're going to add those in. So our teal is right here on our tray. It's actually called Viridian, but I'm calling it teal. And just a little bit on the tip, kind of wipe it off. Try to wipe it off because we don't really want it on the brush. We just want a little hint of it on the brush. And we're just gonna like pull it in from the outside here and there. Just enough to give it a little bit of brightness. Just kind of, just kind of brightens it up. If you don't like this color, you do not have to put it on there. I just thought it brightened the picture up a little bit to add it in. There we go. Okay, cleaning our brush. So I do have a little bit of blue right here. I'm going to check it. I'm going to clean it off with my little piece of paper towel. So I took my little piece of paper towel, rolled it up tight, I stuck it in the water and squeezed all the water out of it. So just kind of check. If there's blue somewhere it doesn't need to be, that should take it off. There we go. All right, so you cleaned your big brush, squeeze the water out of it, and lay it to the side. Okay, so we did the background. This is the furthest thing from us. So now we got to work our way to us. So what things overlap when I look at this? Well, the, the bark is going to overlap the eyes and the mouth. The mouth and the eyes are further away from me than the bark of his face. So that would be our next step. So we're going to go with this little round brush here. And this up here in the corner is your black. You're going to take your brush and you're going to roll, you're going to put a little bit on your brush and then you're going to roll your brush like that and get a point. So every time I dip my round brush, I'm going to roll it and get a point. That's how I can have a little more control because the bristles are all like out everywhere. Then I don't have any control over my brush and I just have paint on the tip. You can see there's still white showing. If you have paint all gooped on there, no control. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to go on top of the black line. And I'm starting in the center. I'm going to pull it out. If you are not comfortable with that, you can leave the black line show. the other outline the other side okay now there's white corners we're gonna leave those but we're gonna paint in the black area in the middle and think about the eye being round so make your brush strokes round you're going around it it's like we think the brush strokes don't really matter or don't really show, but they do show. Yep. To the other side. Fill it in. Make sure none of that texture from the painting canvas is showing because that would just look weird. Fill it in like a circle. Okay. I'm going to get my brush more paint and roll it in your paint so you have a point. I'm going to go over these eyebrows. I don't want them super heavy or thick, so I'm kind of letting it fade out. To 
the other side. There. So I let it fade out like that because I don't want big like big like psh, eyebrows. And we're gonna work on the mouth. So we're gonna paint inside the mouth. There we go. And clean your brush. Squeeze the water out of it. And when I am finished with a brush like this, I like to take the tip and kind of slightly roll it in my fingertips. So when I come back to it, the point has dried nice and pointy, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna go to our medium sized flat brush. Looks like this. And we have four colors down here that we're going to use on Groot. So this is raw umber, or dark brown. This is burnt umber, or medium kind of reddish, orangey brown. This is peach, and it's called flesh in the tube. And this is gray. We're going to start with the darkest color and work our way out. So just get some on the tip and flatten it out on your tray. So you have a flat brush, and we're going to outline around the edge of his face. Just like this. So I've turned my brush, so I'm making a skinny line like this. So as I pull it, I'm pulling. I like to pull lines to me. So if I'm sitting here, I would pull the line to me. I wouldn't push the line away from me, because when you're pushing the line, it's going to flick and then it's not going to be straight. If you pull a line, you have more control and it's going to be straighter for you. So always pull your lines, your straight lines to you. There we go. And see, so I'm not going to go up this side. I'm going to start up here and we'll pull it to me. Every time I go over this line, I start up and pull. And I'm, oh, I'm stuck it in the wrong color, so I'm cleaning it. Squeeze my water out. Okay, dark brown still. You might want to um, just kind of touch some of these areas. And I'm just keeping my brush, you know, vertical, straight up and down. Like that. That way we can kind of see what we're doing. And we're going to outline around his body area or trunk, I guess since he's a tree. Definitely cover up that black line. And I'm going to get my brush really flat, really flat, so I'm wiping it really flat on my tray with that same dark brown. And I'm just going to outline the bottom of the arms, not the top, not the middle, just the bottom. So tie it into where he is. Keep it really flat. And I 
just kind of let it flick at the end. Like when I get to the end of this, I go straight, 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 flick it off. And that gives me that little point. So straight up my canvas, flick it off. Does that make sense? Okay. Kind of has a little line in here too. This side looks a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that darker. And this underneath here looks a little bit darker. We're just going to make that line wider to here. There. And we're going to leave it like that for a minute. We're going to go ahead and put some uh, little shadow accents on his face with the same color since it's on our brush. So get your brush really flat. So wipe it on your tray. Really flat. Okay, so you're probably going to want like Kind of like a J shape there, and maybe a little, a little under, under the eye accent. You're gonna want around the cheeks, like that. Around, <laughs> around the chin, like that. Some little shadows there. Maybe right here. And I'm keeping my brush where it's all skinny lines. So it's all like this. Um, I'm going to go over these eyebrows with brown. Like that. And then I'm going to go through here and I'm going to put some dark lines. And I'm going to leave it like that. Clean my brush. Let's take your brush, clean it. Wipe it off. Squeeze the water out of it. There. So far so good. Alright, now we're going to move to this next brown color here. And this is our kind of orangish brown color. So not this is our dark. This is our little orangish brown color. Kind of wipe it on, wipe it off, and we're going to start filling in this area. Go under that chin. Don't lose your chin. We're going to really flatten that brush out. We're going to go across the top of the arms. And if there's any little gaps in there, fill them in. It's better to start at the body and pull out. So I start at the body, pull out, start at the body. Start at the body, pull all the way out. Go ahead and do that for me. And we're going to paint a little of this color on the face. So maybe just a little bit on the chin. Up in here. So turn my brush so skinny. Just kind of fill it in. Now this is all uneven up here. I don't think there's a special way to do it. I think it could be different. Just as long as it's uneven looking. This one really low and that one. 
think the middle needs to be higher. filling in some of this area. It's not perfect. It's not thick at all. Okay, so it looks kind of sketchy. And I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to take some gray. This gray color. On my brush. And I'm going to work in This area to lighten it down. See that blends out and lightens it down. But you can kind of still see where things are. Around the eyes. Outline on the outside of those eyes. Keep your eyebrows, but you can go from a little bit, and I'm lightening some of this top part down, and that's just skinny brush strokes. And they're kind of random. Yeah. Sometimes when we look at tree bark. It looks brown, but it has a lot of gray in it. So usually when you paint a tree, you don't think about it, but it does have a lot of gray. Go around that mouth. Anytime you need to pause, you just pause. Cheek. And now we're gonna um, take a little peach, and I'm not. I'm just gonna wipe my brush out. I'm not gonna clean it. So I'm gonna wipe on my paper towel some of that gray out, and I'm gonna go to peach. Can wipe it on, wipe it off on my tray. So peach, is where I'm at. And this is gonna be some accent lines. chin would show up and the little cheeks would show up a little bit because you know he's always smiling. I'm just doing like a little C shape like here, a little C shape there and then I'm brushing it in like that. Okay, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to put some of this peach up through here. And I'm just doing it randomly. It's not consistent, it's not even, it's not spaced out the right way at all. It's just random. Now I'm going to come back with a little bit of that dark and put my eyebrows back on there a little bit better. His eyebrows do show. And maybe put a few little of those accent lines back in that I had before. them out. Put some darks back in up here. There we go. Okay, so his face looks pretty good. Um, you can pause and finish that up and then we're going to work on his body. So I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm just wiping it off on the paper towel. And I'm going to go to gray. I'm going to try gray. Wipe it on, wipe it off on your tray. And just kind of, you know. Maybe kind of pick some areas to follow that shape. 
of him. Put a little bit, you know, on the tops of his arms out here. And you know, I'm gonna wipe that out of my brush and I'm gonna go to Peach. And I'm really gonna hit that edge with that peach. Try to follow the shape of him that we have going on. Put a little peach on the top. That peach is more your accent. That's like your highlight color. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. It can be hit and miss, like here, here, here. And I'm going to wipe that off of my brush. I'm going to go back to dark brown. And just kind of blend some of this in. Make sure my dark areas stay dark. This edge I want to stay dark. And this area I want to stay darker. I'm going to brush that out a little bit. So you can kind of see the difference there. Now you notice mine has a few little twigs on it. So you can just take that dark brown, maybe put a tad of gray on your brush at the same time. Dark brown and gray. And I'm just going to go, okay, so skinny lines. So you have to flatten your brush out as flat as you can get it on your tray. And you're going to go, you're going to go, and just kind of flick off the canvas. So it's just going to start here and flick off. See how fast that was? So I'm going to start here, flick off. I think you could use a little something there. Dark brown and a little gray. I think you might have a little something coming out here. You know how he has those little things starting to grow off of him, little branches. He might even have one come off his face. Wherever you think. Wherever you think he might have one growing because he grows different ones all over the place every every so often, all throughout the movie. So wherever you put one on the top, you say, okay, I think he needs a little, little something here at the top growing off of him. There we go. He has one. All right. So we are going to clean that brush. Squeeze the water out of it. Make sure you get it really clean. And we're going to go back to this little skinny brush. We're going to dip, dip in white. Like that. And roll it. Like that. So the little accents on the eyes. Can you see how close can you get that? Can you see those? So see how they're kind of rounded here and rounded there, rounded here, rounded there? That's what we're going to do. So if you need to pause right here and look, you can. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's kind of round, so I'm rounding down up here. It. There. And clean that for me. And I'm going to take a little bit of this dark brown, gray, dark brown and gray together again. I'm going to put a couple of just like lines here, like he has a little tongue in there or something. Here you go. Clean that brush. We're getting really close. I bet you guys are doing a great job. And I know that you guys are going to post these on the library website and hold it above your face, and up below your face, so I can see your smiles and I can see your finished products at the end. So don't forget to do that because I definitely want to see them. Okay, so we're going to take this brush. Here, the flat brush, the medium brush, and we're going to go to this teal color here. So I'm assuming you cleaned it, right, after the last time you used it and you squeezed the water out of it. Okay, 
So this it goes this way. If you had something on here, you probably needed to wipe it off with a little um, piece of wet paper towel. So we're going to brush this way. And I'm just starting there at the edge. And if your brush is pretty flat, then you can just kind of go across there and it should cover that line. There. Just like that. And this down here is going to go up and down, so I'll like vertical, edge it out. There we go. I bet you guys are doing a great job. And anything you don't like, you can just rewind the video and watch it and fix it. Not a big deal. That's how we learn. Going back and fixing things. Like, definitely, if it bothers you, definitely don't leave it. You know, go back and fix it. Because I want you to be able to hang this up. Just kind of fill that in like that. And I'm not going to clean my brush after this. So I'm going to go straight to, I wiped it off. I'm going to go straight to white. I'm going to put some white streaks across here. I'm not really going to blend them in that much. Kind of like it, having that streaky look so that it looks like it has a highlight on there. Like that. And just kind of putting some streaks down this. There. And if you really want it to you could add a little dark blue in there i wouldn't add too much you could or you could add a little brown line underneath this you put a little shadow i wouldn't add too much because you'll lose it against that um blue background this little shadow is that's pretty or you could use brown or you could use gray on this one i use brown so you can see the difference oh Okay, well, there you go. Once you finish that, all you have to do is sign it. So you can take your little, your little brush and you can go with a dark color and sign it down here. Just make sure, I would go down here. I signed it up here um, just so people wouldn't steal my image. But I would sign it down here. Sign it small like you would at the top of your paper and put it down here. You could also do it in Sharpie if you're not comfortable painting it. But you don't want to paint like your name all the way across there because that kind of ruins the painting. So just keep it real small over in one of the corners. And, you know, roll your brush in the paint each time you do it, okay? All right, well, I'm glad you guys got to paint with me today. Hopefully next year we'll see you at the library and paint again. But for now, I'm glad you have fun. And don't forget to post, 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 post your pictures of your paintings because I want to see them. Sorry I missed seeing all your smiling faces, but maybe we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.